Okay, have a seat here for me, and I'm going to get you some sticks. Okay, these will be your sticks. You might want to write your name on them, because if you ever leave them behind, I can get them back to you. And then we need to get you a book. Okay, we'll deal with this a little bit later. Um, have you ever played, uh, well, your mom was telling me you haven't really done much with music except for whatever you get in school, is that right? Yes. Okay, what are some instruments that you know that you've played in school? Uh, I played, I never really played something, I literally just like played around a little bit. Okay. The main thing with uh, the music, uh, where I was going, it was mainly just singing and uh, some of the drum things that we would do, it wouldn't be like with the actual drums, it would just be like on the floor just trying to make a beat. Okay, what school do you go to? Uh, I used to go to um, Christian Life, no, Family Life Academy, and now I'm being homeschooled. Okay, are you doing Florida Virtual School? Uh, or are you doing something else? Not sure. I, you're not you're just getting started with it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. Why is this thing not doing what I wanted to do? Okay. Well, first thing is I want you to go ahead and face the drum set that you're on. And so this is um, this is an electronic drum set. Uh, the difference between an acoustic drum set and an electronic drum set is an electronic drum set is made up of pads, and when you hit the pads, it sends an electric. Uh, electronic signal or digital signal to this computer unit. We call that a brain sometimes. It's a, another word for it is a drum module. And so this is where the sound's actually coming from. So this produces the sound like a computer. Um, an acoustic drum set doesn't have all that stuff. It's like a real drum. So you'll see I have stacked up around the room some drums and stuff. So like when you hit them, you hear the drum. It's not electronic at all. Okay, so we're gonna go over the names of the drums. Actually, before we do that, let's do uh, how you hold the sticks. So what I want you to do is take your right foot and put it on the right pedal, and your left foot, put on the left pedal, that switch there. All right, and that's pretty much where you're gonna be, okay? Um, we're not gonna use the left foot at all today. We will use the right foot some, um, but we're gonna start with our hands. So, look like me. Okay, and I wanna draw attention to a couple things. Um, you look pretty good. Um, try to set up a little bit more, though. Like if you play like this, that, that looks kind of silly, right? But you want to be kind of on top of the drum, so you want to sit up a little bit, sit up straight. Um, it's not an etiquette class or anything. You'll just have more ability to reach around the drum set. Okay, so you're doing, uh, hold the sticks. Okay, so you're doing this. So what I'd like you to do is turn your wrists over like that. There you go. And then the one thing that I see that you're doing it, but you're probably not thinking about it, is your thumb needs to always be on the stick. If your thumb drops below the stick, then you lose your grip. So like almost 100% of the time if somebody's dropping their drumstick, it's because they don't have their thumb on the stick there. So the first finger on one side, thumb on the other side. Does that make sense? Okay, put your sticks up uh, back in front of you. Okay, the drum right in front of you is called the snare drum. I know mine looks a little bit different than yours, but I promise you it's the same thing. Hit that a few times. Good, all right. Um, we're going to play something called eight on a hand. We're going to play eight notes with the right hand, then eight notes with the left hand. I'm going to show you first, and then I want you to try it after me. So it goes like this. Really simple, but the reason for this is we're focusing on how we're hitting the drum. We'll talk about that in a moment. Give that a shot. Alright, my biggest comment right now is try to use less arm. I'm not saying arm is bad, but playing like this, that's a lot of energy and you don't have to do that. Now, I kind of think of your arm as being something for like extra power, like if you have to hit a cymbal or something, or a directional thing, if you have to like play a drum that's over here or a cymbal that's up here or something like that. But if you're just going to be right in front of you, try to get in the habit of just using your wrist. And the way that you're going to use your wrist is going to be very much like dribbling a basketball. When you dribble a basketball, the ball hits the floor, comes right back up, right? So it's this bouncing motion. So you want to do that on the drum with the drumsticks. And you'll feel that. If you're playing with your wrist, you'll feel, you'll feel it wanting to bounce back up. So play that eight on a hand again and focus on that way that feels when you play it.
Good. All right, great. So now we're going to do an activity called copycat. And by the way, that was good. So you're doing what I want you to do. I just want you to think about that as we do everything else from now on. Think about your thumb being on the stick. Think about using your wrist. Think about that rebound. All that stuff's good. There are times when we do other things, but most of the time you'll be doing what we just discussed, okay? All right, so we're going to do an activity called copycat. And what copycat is, is I play like a little short thing, and then I want you to copy exactly what I'm doing. And we'll do it sometimes on one instrument or multiple instruments. And so this will help you to start developing a vo what I call a vocabulary for different rhythms and also different sounds, all right? So if I do this one, give that a shot. So that's, that's an easy one for you, okay. Good. Okay, did you notice something that was different about you than me? They sound the same. Well, what happened was is we didn't talk about the different names of the instruments. I probably should have done that first. These are drums. This looks like a drum because it's the same kind of pad, but it's a different sound. So that's actually the hi-hat, okay? So let's, let's go ahead and take care of that. Let's talk about the names of the drums. So the one directly in front of you, it's called a snare drum. Which Say snare drum. Snare drum. Yeah. And hit it three times. So we're going to combine copycat with saying the name and stuff. All right, this is called the low tom-tom. What's that called? Low tom-tom. Low tom-tom. Now the reason why this is called the low tom-tom is we actually have three tom-toms, so this is the high one. Find the high tom-tom. Say high tom-tom. High tom-tom. And then go to the middle one. So that's the middle tom-tom. Middle tom-tom. Why do you think I'm having you say the name of it? Because I remember them. Yeah, you will remember it a lot better if you say the name of it. So you're going to hear it from me, you're going to say the name of it, yada, yada, yada. We're going to go back and forth, and that helps you to memorize the, what these things are called. Low tom-tom, middle mm -hmm. tom-tom, high tom-tom. Yep. Where's the snare drum? Right. Good. And then this down here is your bass drum. Yep, that's it. And then over here, that's the ride cymbal. Find it. What's it called? Ride cymbal. Okay. And then over here, that's the crash cymbal. Crash cymbal. And then the last one. High hat. And on the drum set, the hi hat, um, I don't, it's this instrument here, and I don't I think this is covered up here, but it's this instrument here. What a hi hat is, is it's two cymbals on top of each other, and it's on a pedal, which is this pedal. We'll talk more about this another time, but it, it can open and close, and because they're on top of each yeah. other. I think I saw that on the I'm game. sure you've seen it on that game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, all right, let's do some book stuff. I just want to make sure we accomplish a lot of that before we run out of time. Okay, so this stuff is probably going to be pretty easy for you. Lift your foot up for a second. I'm just going to slide this over. Okay. This book starts off... Oh, this is the wrong book. I think it's the right book. Um, this starts off really easy, and you might think to yourself, Oh, this is really easy. Why am I doing this? Well, it gets hard. <laughs> So we're going to start with the easy stuff and then work towards the harder stuff. So what we're trying to do is set a really good foundation for you so you can play a lot of things without getting really uh, flustered about it. Okay. So this book has eight sections in it. We're going to start with the first section. Pretty easy stuff. Um, you're going to take this hand and put it here, this hand, and then this hand up here. I'm assuming you're right-handed? Okay. So the X's on the top, that's your hi-hat. So when you see those, you're going to play the hi-hat. So you have four of them. One, two, three, four. And that's the first measure. Try doing that. Yeah. And then when you play it, yeah. make sure it bounces up. Don't do the bzzz, bzzz thing. Okay? Try again. Good. Now that down there is your bass drum. That's your foot. So when you see that note, you have to hit that. Right. Yep. And then when you see them on top of each other, you play them together. So you're going to hit the bass drum and the hi-hat together for beat one, and then hi-hat, hi-hat, hi-hat after that. Yeah. Good. 
So that's the first measure, and you did that perfectly. So a measure is bet uh, between this bar line and this bar line. That's one measure. So in this line, one, two, three, four, you're going to play it four times, and then you're going to stop. Is that pretty easy? All right, give it a shot. Right, try the second one. So with the second one, it's the same concept, but you're going to play the hi-hat, not the hi-hat, sorry, the bass drum on beat two. So it's going to be one, two, three. Same thing, we're just putting it on a different beat. Give that a shot. Just keep it really slow. We don't have to go fast. We don't have to go fast at all. Good. Number three. It's the same thing, but you're going to play the bass drum on beat three. Just do it slow. Hey, you're, you're doing it right. You're just getting used to it. See, that's why we're starting with the easy beats, is so you can get used to how this works. All right, let's try it again. When you hit that bass drum, make sure you hit it hard. Okay. Are you looking at number three or number four? I'm looking at number three, but I kind of get confused. Okay, so let's let's focus. No one's judging you here. We're gonna get this. All right. Think about what you're doing before you do it. Like, look at it. Take your time. Don't feel like you have to be in a rush. We're not in a rush. Okay. Number three, four notes on the hi hat. Play the bass drum on beat three. Take your time. Keep it slow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that number one. All right, try again. Know what you're doing. All right, number four. Good, that was perfect. Okay, number five, you're gonna start doing the same stuff but with a different instrument. Now you're gonna use the snare drum. So the snare drum's the one in front of you. You're gonna keep your left hand here, and your right hand up here. So for number five, you're gonna go like this. sense? Mm -hmm. So four times of that. Go for it. Keep it slow. Think about what you're doing.
next one, number six. One, two, three. That's correct. I'm doing the little dripping thing. Yeah. You'll get better at it. That just comes with practice. Don't sweat it too much. <coughs> Good. Next one. Number seven. Number eight. Now with this book, you're gonna have to fold the pages open every time. And if it still wants to kind of close on you, I just put a drumstick in front of it. it. Seems to help. All right, same thing. Play it on beat four. Good. All right, perfect. Number nine, we're taking up a notch, making it a little bit more difficult. Notes. You're playing all three notes on beat one, but just keep it slow and stay focused. You'll be fine. Slow it down a bit. Slow it down more. You gotta push that. You have to commit yourself to pushing that bass from hard. Yeah. That was it. Keep it slow. It's all about muscle. Good. All right, we have some more time, so we're going to work a little bit more on this. Number uh, 10, you have the bass drum on beat 1 and the snare drum on beat 2. So they're not at the same time. They're on different parts of the measure. I think speed is just your main issue. Try not to let yourself go fast. Try to keep it slow. We can always speed things up later, so playing things slow is not bad at all. Take your time. There you go, good. See, it's a lot easier when it's slower, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, next one. I'm not going to say anything. You figure it out. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, that was it. All right, next one. Slow, slow, slow is good.
perfect. All right, let's play the next one. Good. Go to the next Good, next one. Slow. Yes. Let's keep going, you're doing great. Let's keep going. Which number is this? I'm on number 20. All right, 20.
still going. That was bass. Next one. We're almost done with the section. One more to go. That was it. Hey, for kicks and giggles, let's do this 16 bar size. So what it is, is it's 16 measures long. Every measure is a little different, so it's not the same repeated thing. So you just read the notes where they are. And what I want you to do is just try to start from the beginning and go to the end. If you make a mistake, just try to keep going. Don't stop. Keep it slow. Think about what you're doing. You're getting good at this. You're doing it. You're getting it. I, I was. I got confused because it was like. That. Start with the second line. Just do the last line. Yeah, I'm getting stuck on this part. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, good job. Alright, we're gonna stop with that. Let's go chat with your mom.